Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here is today's question. I work full-time at an agency. I'd love to slowly reduce my clients there while I slowly build up my clients in my private practice, but unfortunately, that's not an option. I'm wondering about some practical steps to take that leap. Should I take on a few private practice clients on top of my full-time job before transitioning to just private practice, or should I do something else to transition out of my agency and into private practice? Good question. So first, I want to thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring Ask Allison. If you're looking for an all-in-one practice management system, you need to check out Therapy Notes. It's top rated on Trustpilot. It does all the back-end pieces that a private practice requires, scheduling, charging, billing insurance if you do that, doing your notes, sending reminders, storing your intake paperwork, complete online sessions with the all-in-one platform, like all of it's all in one place. So you can get two months free to play with it if you use the code abundant at checkout at therapynotes.com. So to answer your question, this really depends on your financial situation. So if you have plenty of savings to keep you afloat or a partner who can cover the bills, you have a lot more flexibility. I still wouldn't recommend making any moves until you've identified a niche and you've developed a marketing plan just because everything moves faster when you have that. And most of us would prefer to get fuller faster. Um, and once that's done, absolutely jump ship if you have the financial system that allows you to do that. Um, if you're like most of us and you don't have that level of financial security, I'd take on a few private practice clients, add every single dime you make to your savings so that you can jump ship. The idea of your full-time job plus your part-time practice is likely not the most rejuvenating thought. Um, most people find that being in private practice feels really different though. They look forward to it all day. They're more energized with their private practice clients than they might've been in their job. But I wanna caution you, before you make this transition, figure out how many private practice clients you need to replace your agency income. Like actually do the math. Today's free worksheet will lay that math out for you. You're going to be shocked, probably most people are, um, at how many people I talk to are like trudging along in private practice plus a full-time job, typically not saving any of their private practice income and really wishing they could quit their job, but they like literally could have quit it months and months ago if they hadn't um, gotten into like the lifestyle inflation of having two incomes. Um, so we all want to spend that like extra money, but I'm going to, I'm going to suggest you not. Um, most of my clients make at least double their old agency income in full-time private practice, working way fewer hours. But if you get stuck in like the purgatory of a 40 hour job and a 12 hour private practice at 1.5 year old agency income for an ext extended period of time, you're going to really start to hate life. Um, and you might burn out. So I say this as somebody who was in a full-time job and a part-time private practice for literally five years, not a great plan. Um, if I'd done the math, honestly, um, if I'd known what I was doing at all in private practice, it would have been a really different five years for me. So Today's free worksheet is out there for you. I will link to it. If you need help creating a plan to get clients in the door, the Abundance Party is a really affordable way to nail all that down. That's at AbundanceParty.com. Um, and just a, a heads up, when you do the math, it might feel pretty awful to see that you only need, usually people, it's like 11 clients per week would replace their 40 hour a week job. So know that you might have kind of a gut punch with that math. But the good news of that is it's not like you need a full caseload to be able to quit your full-time job. So that's the good news. All right, y'all. I will talk with you later. If you have any questions for me for Ask Allison, please DM me over on Instagram where I'm abundance underscore practice underscore building.